We're here today with the coach of the senior women's national team, coach Vin Blaine. Um, talk to us about your team's performance over this win, the first coach. Well, good performance. We build up from the first game uh, we played Bermuda, and I think we entertain. We play entertaining football. And uh, to, today, if you notice, in the first half, Damrep started out very well. You know, we scored an early goal, and I thought we could have put them on the back foot, but it, it didn't. You know, um, but. The, the, the problem we are having is that we are very indisciplined in midfield. Our two central midfielders are running out and, and leaving big spaces for the two. There are two uh, mid, um, forwards dropping into the pocket. And um, so we are, we are conceding a lot of space there. We, we adjusted in the, um, in the second half and, and it paid dividends. You can see that they, didn't, they couldn't penetrate anymore like that. They had to be going, circling the ball around. So I think that one adjustment did it. And uh, then we brought in um, Kayla McCoy, who is also is a forward, but she holds, she plays well in midfield. She stays in midfield. She's very disciplined. Mm -hmm. um, then it goes just start coming. I think our, our fitness and the tactical um, uh, uh, discipline with, with the team proved well for us. You know, it kind of overcome um, an, an, uh, damn rep. I don't think they could handle us. We, we could see their their, their fitness waning. Yeah. Right, coach, talk to me about the addition that we made that wasn't there in the first window. Mm -hmm. Marla Sweatman. I feel like she was the, let's say, the woman of the game for the two. She's the woman of the window. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about mm -hmm. that addition. Well, Marla played for me when she was 16. Yeah. So I know Marla a long time. I brought her in, I, I scouted her. Um, the reason why she wasn't here in the first uh, window is because she was injured. Mm -hmm. She got injured like a week before she should come here. But I knew what she's, a, what she's capable of. She's very disciplined. Uh, today she was a little bit movement moving out of the pocket which, which I and I kept telling her sit in there because we could see what they were doing they were coming at us with three in the middle and um, we, were, we, were, we, were, we were too wide but in the second half she adjusted because we, what I did I gave her help I moved Setman up and I put another player beside her that, that, that I, I put Kayla I moved Setman uh, not Setman I, I moved um, Chinali. Chinali and put uh, and put Kayla there so you could see the difference you now I, I was having that what I wanted there and Chini could also do, do, do the work up top Chini is a very hard worker all right coach all right so coming or uh, exiting the last window mm -hmm. you would have come under criticism mm -hmm. some such from myself mm -hmm. from sure. mm -hmm. TV, mm -hmm. about how the, the, the girls played because we weren't necessarily satisfied mm -hmm. right what changed because i did definitely see more identity and a better system in this window what were the changes you made between the windows the change i made was more, more you see remember, remember the first window i never had any time with them i had maybe an hour in both for both games mm -hmm. because there are official training sessions yeah. so i had in in, in an official training session you as a coach might have 45 minutes out of the entire session you have warm up you know activation thing and all that um and i i also take the blame for the green of the game because I was too relaxed, overconfident. I worked in Grenada, I know all the players. So I was a little bit more too relaxed and it showed. So coming out of that, that um, game, I think what spurred us was the fact that we had to overcome that four goal difference. So now we have to work hard and, and how we attack and the discipline in the team to overcome that. Because without my input, they, they weren't disciplined enough. They were rushing to score against um, Grenada. But this time you can see in the, in the Cayman game, they came out with a purpose, but they still were doing the, what we asked them to do. I always like to, to play wide. And if you notice, know, we use our, our wide players a lot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so I heard, I heard the criticism, but that's what it is for a coach. As a coach, you have to take it. No, 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 thing, no bad feelings about anybody that say, I hear players saying I shouldn't be here. But that's, that's life. You know, we, we did well today. So let's see if they, it turned them around to understand that we are playing good football. We are playing good football, but we, but we still have a far way to go. Because we are going to come up against now teams that are going to be that, that win uh, won their own um, zone so the world continues that segues perfectly yeah. into the next question mm -hmm. i want you to talk to me about the quality of this team there are mm -hmm. four teams ranked ahead of us mm -hmm. and we'll be facing let's say at least two, two of those teams right so right right what right. do you think about this squad you think we can match up with the teams ranked ahead of us i definitely think so but not because we're going to have a camp an extended camp if you see how the play now is the first extended camp i've had but we went to we went to okay on the fourth we start training on the fifth and it came right through to this game on the 12th. As long as we get that and we have some other players coming in to show up midfield, to show up defense, and that is important. And if you notice, we have a deep squad. Yeah. Did you see, did you notice any much difference when, the, when we substituted? No, that's, we made that's, five substitutions. That's a question that I wanted yeah, to yeah, ask yeah. about the depth, especially at the mm -hmm. wing position. Mm -hmm. Because today you opted to go with Tiffany Chamberlain mm -hmm. rather than Page. Mm -hmm. uh, what went into that decision? 
and what does that say about your team the fact that you can have two different right when you start and it not make much of a difference? Much more difference. The reason I started um, Tiffany, I wanted to Tiffany. See, we're going to use both of them. I have to see both of them play at a at the, at the start of a game, not the substitution. Yeah. So if you notice, um, Paige started the last game, and uh, now we are, in a, as I gave um, Tiffany a, a chance to play, she wanted to play. Why she didn't start the last game, she never, she always never kept wide the way we want to play. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I said, so I, I, so I said, listen, you're not starting, you know? And this game, I said to her, what is it that you're going to be doing? She said, stay wide, you know, play wide and come in. And, and she did that. She had a very good game. She had a very good game, and that's, that is something that I can't ask. You can, when you have a page, page Bailey Gate and you can bring in a Tiffany camera and it, it makes the job much easier for you as a coach. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about the star girl, the girl of the moment, Khadija Shah. Khadija you Shah. You know, her captain. Yes. How do you feel about her as a player and leading this team while, let's say, the team captain is not here? You see, Khadija, Khadija played for me when she was 14. I brought, I, I, I brought, I, I brought Khadija when she was 14. So I've not, she, a lot of people don't understand that Khadija is a much better midfielder. Mm. She's a good midfielder. That's where she used to play before she went to college. But she she delivers. She delivers. Even when you think she's she's sitting back, yeah. at any moment she can deliver. And that's yeah. and that is the, the that, that that is the quality of a star player that she can deliver. And she leads. Mm -hmm. She leads. Um, I don't think she's at her best. Mm -hmm. I really don't believe that she's at her best. But what we're trying to to do is, it, is, it, is it, and the synergy and you know the, the chemistry between the players and it's coming definitely coming and the last thing i want to ask you about because i could talk to you about this team for the whole day yeah yeah obviously everybody have places to go yeah and speak to you about rebecca spencer mm -hmm. Sidney snyder and yasmin james mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. three very good goalkeepers three very good goalkeepers. um tell us about obviously Sidney snyder would have been the number one going into mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. going into this campaign but we're managing to get rebecca spencer who is a very quality goalkeeper mm -hmm. tell us about that battle and the relationship between all three of our goalkeepers and then tell us about Rebecca Spencer in specific yeah. her ability to start plays because she was a mm -hmm. big part in the first goal right. talk to us about right. the right. goalkeeping situation well let me talk about the synergy between them goalkeepers always have although they are competing for the job mm -hmm. they have a good good relationship that is first their, their relationship is very good they support each other in training we use um, all three I gave um, I gave I gave Yasmin a, a chance in this game to come on the second yeah. half because she has not been playing. Mm -hmm. She's training but she has never been on the pitch. And I think I have to give in a game like 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 um Cayman, that's a good game to bring her in. And she did well because she got when Rebecca was there she wasn't getting much work. And as we made the change and we made some change outfield, mm -hmm. we, she start uh Jasmine started to get some work. Yeah. And it's very good. Um but uh, but um Sydney has to be very patient because if we're playing a tough game it has to be um, Rebecca, because mm -hmm. she uses her feet well, she reads yeah. the game well, she can start. That's my third man. In, in, the, in the game, when you have two defenders, attack, defend, attackers coming at your defense, there's a system that I call a plus one system. So she's my plus one, so it's, you have three players. We don't have to drop a six back in, mid, yeah. in defense and, and, and miss a, 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 another um, diagonal pass option. So I, I, I use her as that plus one in, in the back. You know, because you know, nowadays everybody pressing you with two. So with, that, with the she as the plus one there, we give us three. That is, she's the ideal person. Under pressure, she's very cool, right? And we're working on Yasmin and, and, and uh, Sydney's footwork now, and it will come over time. We have a long journey, yeah. you know, and uh, we hope that the journey will stop. We won't stop in, in, in uh, Mexico. Yeah, because Yasmin, <laughs> and, Yasmin and Sydney are both young, and yeah, Rebecca is, more Rebecca is 30, so yeah, yeah, commit. Has to leave it to them. Right, it? right. Anyways, right. coach, thank you so much for uh, You're time welcome, man. Tomorrow. And very keep good. talking bad boy, don't worry, self. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. We love it. I listen and I, and I, I, I listen. I always listen to fans, mm -hmm. you know. And and, and you're, and sometimes because you don't know what happens in the camp. Because yeah. I last night I hear a man say, I never make five changes. I make me five changes, but he never see it. Mm -hmm. You know, and they keep asking about Drew Spence, but Drew Spence is, is not ready yet because of documentation. Mm -hmm. But she'll be ready for, for the next round. Right. Thank right. you for Thanks, the Thanks, guys. Really